Dear audience, my name is Chris Callens, director of the National Museum of Ceramics in Leeuwarden, the Netherlands. I welcome you to this special museum because it is not only the Museum of Ceramics, it is also the city palace of a princess of the Dutch royal family. And it is the birthplace of the famous graphic artist MC Escher. Today, they are joining us in a special series of concerts where music and the arts are joined. I wish you a pleasant stay in our palace where these elements come together. It is in 1936 that Escher pays another visit to the Alhambra. And it is two years later that he creates this work, day and night. And what we see is a group of geese that are flying into opposite directions. One group is flying into the day and the other group is flying into the night. And the eyes of the viewer are then drawn lower into the scene and the geese, they start to dissolve into fields of lands. And those fields of lands are being divided by straight canals that end up in a meandering river. And the river is flanked by a town, a windmill and a small harbor and also typical brick houses. And all those features all together, for any of you who are familiar with the Netherlands, would immediately link this to the Netherlands, to any typical Dutch town. So on the one hand, we can see that this scene is sort of a tribute of Escher by linking to his roots, his Dutch heritage where he grew up, and which has been very influential in his work also later on. And on the other hand, this is one of the first works that actually shows the influence of the geometric patterns that Escher encountered in the Alhambra during his visit. And instead of using abstract patterns, which he saw in Spain, in his prints, he started using figures. So instead of um, mo motifs, he's using humans and animals and plants, and he's creating his own signature chess style, and he continues using that throughout his other prints and becomes one of his most famous artworks. The ingenious impossibility of Escher's work, Day and Night, brings to mind a musical composition that was attributed to Mozart, called a mirror canon for two stringed instruments. The sheet music is laid out horizontally and each player starts from the top left corner and as they read diagonally to the opposite side, the voices, one playing the inverted version of the other, cross and they eventually end up at the point where the other one started. And this beautifully presents the interwoven parts of the work day and night, like the geese flying in opposite directions. And then, singly zooming in on each opposite voice, double bassist James Wessey will perform the Sarabande from the fifth cello suite of Bach, and then I will perform the Gigue from the D minor partita for solo violin.